I thought it might be best if we just um, give you an update what we're doing here on the transmission. We're putting this front case back in and we've already um, uh, put the cluster gear uh, back up into position. That's the last thing to go before we put on the side cover. But um, anyway, you got to make sure this is lined up now. We're going to watch this hole um, because this pin right here needs to be driven through um, right here to uh, set that because that's the shaft uh, that it rides on there. Of course, those needle bearings all the way around that shaft. But obviously, we're driving out the wooden dowel, um, the dummy shaft that was holding that in position there, I guess holding the bearings in, holding the washers there. So um, we've got everything tightened back up and sealed back up. We've very thin gaskets like original. Um, hopefully this will bring the tolerances and clearances uh, much tighter uh, together. And of course uh, we put in new brass um, synchronizer rings. And there's a new gasket and a little bit of sealant up here. It's very, very thin compared to the two old ones. So I'm thinking um, as much play as I had before. That could have been while I was dropping out a second. Um, so basically what we're doing is um, I'm just taking a hammer here to the edge of this, slightly tapping it through, not much force to get that done. Um, I don't have a brass drift or I do the same, but um, anyway, it's going pretty well and it's not a problem here. We'll get this through and uh, get everything sealed back up. One little tip, I did take the drain plug out to... Um, put a punch through there to uh, help me get the cluster gear lined up uh, just the way that it needed to be and boy that worked out extremely well um, very tight inside that case so just a little tip there in case you're working on one of these trying to get them back in position just want to take a second to show you the dummy shaft is almost tapped all the way out from the cluster gear that's in there of course the dummy shaft is used to keep the needle bearings and the washers where they need to be um, when you take out the main shaft. But anyway, um, you see this hole right here that helps you um, obviously with this pin um, sets that down in there and this obviously needs to be <laughs> right on the money. Um, so we may need to turn that or twist that a little bit to get it lined up. We're going to double check it just before it goes into the case and then uh, we'll shine a light down in that hole right there and uh, make sure that it's even and then drive the pin in to keep the shaft in place. You may be wondering um, how you're going to know whether or not the shaft is lined up um, for this pin uh, to go through. Well, if um, you look through this hole, um, you can see there's light there. And obviously that would mean that with the um, shaft all the way in, um, we are lined up perfectly there because uh, it's got to go all through through the case there. So um, what we're going to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and put some um, sealer in there. I know that may sound crazy, but um, sometimes these things get a little war. Um, I did get this shaft used, although it was a good one, but um, just so uh, just so we'll fix any leaks or anything that. Uh, might want to seep out or kind of weep out so but anyway that's how you line that up there that's how you can tell for sure before you drive that pin home